Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have this Matt Olipier question before us here. The question reads, bracket open x to the power of 2 plus 7x minus 4 plus bracket r to the power of 2 equal to 4 bracket open x to the power of 2 plus 4 close bracket bracket open 7x minus 8 close bracket. What is the value of x that is satisfied this Equation. So, without much waste of time, let's go into today's challenge. So, here we take our selection. Okay. Now, take a look at the right hand side of the equation and look at the left hand side of the equation. You can see some similarity in there. Okay. All we just have to do is to try to write this side of the equation in this form. Here we have x to the power of 2. Here we have x to the power of 2. Here we have 7x. Here we have 7x. So what do we do? We're trying to bring out these two terms here from this expression here. So if I write here 8 minus 8 plus 4, that will give us minus 4, right? So let's try to rewrite this left hand side of the equation. So this now becomes our x to the power of 2 plus 7x, there minus 8 plus our 4 close bracket to the power of 2, this minus this will still give us this back. So this is equal to, let's keep the right hand side of our equation, the plus 4 close bracket, bracket 7, x minus 8. Okay. Look at this, x to the power of 2 plus 4. I can bring this and this together. There we have 7, x minus 8. I can bring this and this separately. So rewriting this, this is going to give us here, bracket x to the power of 2, then plus 4, then we have here plus 7x minus 8, r to the power of 2, this is equal to 4, bracket our x to the power of 2, plus our 4, close bracket, bracket 7x minus 8, close bracket. So look at this expression here, the same thing we have in here, and this here is what we have in here. So let's do a substitution. Let's bring P and Q into the system. So from here, we now say let our P be equal to our S to the power of 2 plus 4 and our Q, let it be uh, 7x minus 8. So we can rewrite the whole of this equation in a special way now. So putting this into the, this now implies that our P, okay, the plus our uh, Q, r to the power of 2, this is equal to our 4 p q. Special, right? Good. Now, if we look at this, what we do here, it is easy. Let's try to expand this, right? So if we expand this, what would that give us? That would give us p to the power of 2 plus 2 p q um, plus q to the power of 2. So expanding it is going to give us our p to the power of 2, then plus 2pq, then plus our q, then equal to 4pq. Okay, we can move this to the side of the equation to give us the p to the power of 2 plus 2pq, right? Then this, this will give us plus our q to the power of 2 minus 4pq, equal to 0, yeah. This is easy, right? So let's continue on this side. So we have this and this link, right? So we cannot subtract the, this from here, and that will now give us here our p to the power of 2, then um, the plus uh, our q to the power of 2, minus, this will give us minus 2pq equal to 0. If we rewrite this, we're still going to have a special algebraic identity question. Let's write this as our minus 2pq, then plus our q is equal to 0. So from our special algebraic identity, uh, remember that if you have our uh, x, then um, minus our y here, or to the power of x, this is going to give us our x squared, then um, minus 2 x, y, then flux our uh, y to the power of 2. Remember? So if we succumb to this, we have such here now. 
So we can rewrite the whole of this in this format. So this is going to give us, uh, this now implies our P minus our Q R to the power of 2 equal to 0. So we can take the square root of both sides. So if we do that, this is going to give us P minus Q equal to 0. Send this to this side of the equation so we now have P is equal to Q. Okay, now let's look at the substitution we made the other time. So let's go back and replace it. So substituting this back this is going to give us our x to the power of 2 plus 4. Okay, there our q is 7 to the power of x, then minus, sorry, 7s minus 8. Right? So let's move this to this side, everything to this side. So this is going to give us s to the power of 2, then minus 7x then plus 4. This crosses is down to uh, plus s equal to 0. So automatically we're going to have x squared minus 7x then plus 12 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So let's solve quadratically. We can use the factorization method here. Two factors from 12 where we'll add together give us minus 7, multiply together to give us plus 12. That will give us minus 3. Right? So we can now rewrite this as our x squared. Then here we have minus 3x. Then we have uh, minus 4x then plus our 12 square to 0. So we can put this in bracket, put this in bracket also. Okay, so let's just finish up everything here. So what is common to this and this? We have just x, so we're going to have your x into x minus 3, close bracket. The year is a 4, we have minus Four into then this will give us here x then uh, minus three square to zero. So we want to cause out the space here. Okay, so the terms we have in here are the same. So this will now give us here bracket our x minus three plus bracket bracket x minus four square to zero. So our x one applying the zero product rule will now be equal to three and x two is equal to 4. Easy. So this are the two rules to this math only paid challenge. If you learn something from this video, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section. If you have a question, also drop it in the comment section. We are there to reply to your comments. Bye. We'll see you in our next video.